we are the weirdos. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't help it. <laughs> hey guys, this is Bobby, and I'm here with another video and another readathon. The readathon that is taking place in the entire month of July, and that is a 90s pop culture readathon hosted by Popsy Culture. I will link everything down below. There are two amazing hosts that came up with all of this and that is life with me and reading parent like i said i will link everything down below this is a bingo style readathon um this is my first ever um, bingo read um style readathon um and only my third readathon but i'm loving these and i'm getting in so many awesome books and i just killed it with my make your myth taker i'm super excited to do this one um as i said this is a 90s style readathon um, all of the prompts on the bingo cards have to do with 90s movies. There are four different cards. There is the teen drama card, the thriller card, the family affair card, and the adult table card. Um, it was really, really hard for me to narrow it down to the two that I knew I wanted to do 100%. I'm going to shoot for doing all four cards, just one line each. Because, like I said, there's so many just awesome um, prompts on there. But for sure, I'm going to be doing the thriller card. And as you can see in my thumbnail, I went with the teen drama card. And you know what? I gotta pat myself on the back because I managed to pull a craft, uh, which is called Nancy Downs, uh, look and a share from Clueless look, all with what I had in my closet. So yeah, I am very proud of myself and I absolutely love this and I am totally gonna be doing this as an actual outfit. Um, so yeah, I am so excited for this. As soon as I found out about it, I knew I was gonna do it. And like I said, there's so many cool prompts. I really wanna go for doing at least one line on all four. And I've even saved some of these prompts because I just really like the idea of building a TBR off of prompts normally because uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing a readathon next month or not. So let's get down to business. I'm just totally loving this whole look. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Um, okay, so for this first card, I'm so excited to go over these um, prompts and my books. Um, it was really hard for me to pick um, which line I wanted to do for this card because there's just so many awesome, uh, what you call it, awesome prompts on here and I ended up going with this uh, line for it and I am really happy with the picks that I have. Um, the first one is for the Nancy Dow's car um, spot and it is a book featuring a power hungry character. Um, I'm really excited to read this book. I, the first one is one of my all-time favorite books and I just never got around to reading this one and I still don't know why. Well, I know why because like I've said before, I'm terrible about reading series. But since I started doing these audiobooks, I have been trying to finish series that I've always meant to finish. And this is the next one on my list, and that is Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. The first book is Vicious. Like I said, I absolutely love it. Um, I don't remember what this one's supposed to be about and how it really ties into it. I believe this character from this one is in the first book, but like I said, it's been so long since I've had this. I bought it pre-ordered this one actually before it was released, and I just never got around to reading it. Um, but I know the, I mean, this whole world in here is power hungry. This, take place, this takes place in a world where um, when people have near death or death-like experiences, they unlock these powers. And I believe this follows a girl who has one of these powers. Um, I can't remember which one it is though, like I said, but I'm super excited to go into this and dive back into this awesome world. Um, the next one is for the Jurassic Park spot, and that is a book that takes place on an island or near a body of water. This is also a second book in a series. I absolutely love the first book. It was just so much fun. Um, I definitely recommend the series. I wanted to 100% get back into this world because, like I said, it was just so much fun. And that is the Extinction Trials. Um, 
Exile. This is book two in this series is by S.M. Wilson. This is like Jurassic Park meets The Hunger Games. Uh, this takes place in a world where dinosaurs still live and they live on this other island but all the people on the other island, they are running out of power. They don't have enough food. It's just too overcrowded and everything so they want to go to this other island and see if they can live there and of course you know shady shit has to happen but there is trials for these characters to get over there. Um, the first book is a dual perspective of a girl named Storm Chaser and a boy named Lincoln. Um, I loved the ending to that like it was such a cool ending. Um, I don't know what this one the second book is I think they're going back to the island because they do come back from it and they are trying to see about um, killing off the dinosaurs so they don't have to worry about them and like I said the world in this is just so much fun and I'm so excited to read this one and what better book to fit the Jurassic Park tile than a book about dinosaurs. This next one is also a second one in a series. Um, I'm This one's actually going for a, a dual purpose because I'm taking part in a uh, Stephen King um, Dark Tower readathon hosted by Shakar over on Twitter. I'll link that one down below as well. Um, this is the second book I started. I read this book actually before, but I was a freshman in high school and I haven't been in high school for a very, very long time. So yeah, I don't remember what happened in this one. So I'm going to be rereading it and um, the Stephen King readathon takes place. Um, we're doing one book per month because uh, it is a pretty long series and it's the I am really excited. The first book is The Gunslinger. The one I will be reading is The Drawing of Three by Stephen King. Uh, this is a kind of westerny type series. It follows a character, Roland the Gunslinger, who is chasing this man across the desert in the first one and he starts finding these I believe they're doors and that's how he goes to these different worlds. Um, this one he ends up get when he goes through the door if I remember correctly he ends up in the head of this other guy and they kind of like I think he's able to take control of the body. Um, like I said I read this but it was a very very long time ago. I'm really excited to finish this series this year. I've always wanted to but it's just such a massive series. Um, I did get the audiobook for this one so I will be doing the audiobook plus reading it. Um, I'm really excited for that. I've never done an audiobook for Stephen King. Um, as you know, I just started doing um, audiobooks this past month and I've been pumping out books with it and I'm really, really enjoying the format. Um, so I'm excited to get back into this world again and reread this one because I remember absolutely loving it. I believe this was a five star read for me. Um, the last and final prompt is for the movie The Faculty, which if you have never seen The Faculty, watch it. It is one of the best freaking horror movies from the 90s. Like, I love it. It is so freaking cool. It's so much fun. The prompt for this tile is a dark academia book. I had no idea what that was. I had to Google it because I wasn't quite sure. And I was I was right on what I thought it was, but when, it, when all the books that were kind of recommended were nothing I was really interested in. This is like a, a book that takes place in like a college or school-like setting, but has a, a darker twist to it. Um, the books that I've seen mentioned were We Are Villains um, and The Ninth House by Leah Bardugo. Um, I don't have any interest in either one of those, but I have star I started this book back in April. I made it 150 pages in, but I'm liking it now. My problem was the first 50 pages absolutely killed me. I hated every single page for the first 50 pages. The writing style was very kind of odd. The footnotes for it threw me out of the book and I just had the hardest time reading it and by the time it started getting super interesting and I started liking it, I was already tired of it. But I am determined to finish this book. So I threw it onto this. It fit the prompt for me. I don't know if it truly does, but for me I'm using it. And that is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Uh, this takes place um, where there is a girl, uh, Mia she ends up going she wants to be an assassin and she goes to the school where they train these assassins and 
like I said, I am really liking it now, but the first 50 pages when it came to the footnotes and just everything, I hated it. Like I almost just totally gave up. I'm really glad I didn't because as soon as she gets to the school, it picks up and it's awesome. But like, I just got so tired of it when I was reading it originally, but I am determined to finish this book. So I put it on this list. I'm going to do it. I was hoping to be able to get the audiobook for it, but there's like a 13 week wait, so I won't be getting it. But I know I can do this one. Uh, like I said, I'm 150 ish pages in, so I am excited to finish this. I've heard nothing but good things about it. It's definitely a book that I know I will like once I finish it. But like I said, it was just those first 50 pages. Just I did not fill it. So that is my first card for the for this readathon. Um, I can't wait to go over my second card and get all changed up because this has been so much fun. I love this whole getting dressed up thing. Um, so thanks for tuning in you guys. So give me just one second. So for this second card, we're going to be rolling with the homies into the teen drama card. I really like this one because nothing says 90s teen movies like teen drama. And if you don't like that, then you can talk to the hand. Uh, <laughs> I really, really liked the prompts for this um, card. It was really hard for me to narrow it down on what uh, pattern I wanted to go for. This is the one that I ended up deciding on. Um, some really great, I, got, I managed to pick some really great books for this and um, the first prompt is a clueless character. Uh, this one tripped me up quite a bit at first. I didn't really understand what it meant. I thought maybe a book based around a character from Clueless, which is a little weird, but uh, thankfully I wasn't the only one and they cleared it up and it was a character that doesn't really know what's going on. It could be a mystery or a thriller. Just somewhere along the line, someone has to be Clueless. So for this one, I ended up going with The Cheerleaders by Kara Thomas. Uh, this is a thriller uh, set in a small town where the entire cheerleading squad ends up dying. There's, I believe, a murder, car accident, a suicide. There's only one left, and the next year, um, so they end up disbanding the cheerleading cheerleaders um, in like a remembrance for them. And this follows one girl. She's, I believe, the last cheer cheerleader left, and they're kind of unraveling the mystery on what happened and why it all happened. It sounded really cool. Um, I got this as a gift, and I'm really excited to get into it. I'm still kind of making my way into the thriller uh, genre. It's still fairly new to me, so I'm really excited to start this one. Um, the next one is for for the prompt. But I'm a cheerleader, which was one of my absolute favorite movies. I used to watch it all the time with my younger brother. I loved it so much. Um, and my and the prompt for that is a book featuring a sapphic uh, romance. I ended up going with these witch these witches don't burn by Isabel Sterling. A friend of mine really really loved this book. Um, she couldn't stop raving about it, and I've been dying to read it, and I've heard it's really great. Uh, definitely an underrated book. This has to do with um, a teen witch who she just broke up with her girlfriend, and they are both witches, and it's this big kept secret, and some things start happening around town. Um, a new girl, who I believe is a ballerina, moves into town, and they she she really likes her and stuff but then these weird shit starts happening and she needs to get help from her ex which she does not want to talk to um i've heard this is really cute and really fun and i can't wait to start it it looks really cool and it's been on my tbr for a while and i'm really glad that i get to dive into it so for book three is a uh, courtney shane who is from jawbreaker and the prompt is a book that intimidates you, which honestly is the perfect prompt to go with Courtney because she's a bitch and I love her because Jawbreaker is amazing. Um, the book, this was really hard to narrow it down. I wasn't sure what I was going to go for. It was kind of a tie between two books, 
uh, but this one won out. I kind of did a random pick on it. Uh, the f other book that I was going to do was Priory of the Orange Tree, but I knew there's probably no way in hell that I was going to be able to finish that and get other books in, so I ended up going with this one which is just intimidating for me because I've been wanting to get into not only this author but into this world and the books are all pretty long so they've all intimidated me so I'm really glad to finally dive in and I am hopefully going to be able to get the audiobook for this so I can follow along with that because I've really been loving audiobooks and that is Elantris by Brandon San uh, Sanderson uh, I can't even tell you really what this is about, like it's been on my TBR for a while and I always hear it recommended and just I've heard nothing and I mean literally nothing but good things about it. Um, I think this has to do with like all of the magic goes out of a town or that might be the Mistborn. I can't remember which one, what happens in this one. Um, I want to go into this like completely blind because when it comes to more of the like really big epic fantasy. I literally just want to be absorbed into this world. I don't want to know what to expect. Like I said, I've just heard so many good things about it and entering into Brandon Sanderson's world is really intimidating for me. So yeah, I'm really glad I'm gonna get around to this one and hopefully finish it. Um, for the fourth and final prompt for the teen drama card, it is for the movie 10 Things I Hate About You. And this has to do with the prompt enemies to lover which is one of my absolute favorite cliches I love it so much um, I just received this book as a gift and I'm really excited to read it um, after reading something like Elantrius I really wanted something super simple and cute and I'm really hoping this one pulls through for me and that is Meet Cute Club by Jack Harbin um, I believe this one is like a new release it hasn't been out that long, maybe a month. Um, it sounds super cute. This has to do with a uh, guy, uh, Jordan Collins. He's a huge fan of this supernatural book series, and he has a book club at a, I believe it's a bookstore. And one of the workers there is kind of an ass, and he ends up joining this book club when all he's ever done is make fun of this series. So um, Jordan really doesn't like him, doesn't want anything to do with him, but then I guess, you know, of course the friends, still, you know, the enemies to lover. I can't wait. Um, I love um, LGBT plus uh, rom-coms. They are like one of my absolute just favorite cutesy reads when I just need to kind of decompress and I feel like after a book like Elantris, this is definitely what I'm going to need. So I'm really glad and I can't wait to get around to this one. I do think I will be reading this one um, last for this card. So yeah, I am excited. I'm really happy with these four. Um, like I said before, I want to try and do um, at least one line from each a uh, card, um, but the yeah, the thrill ride and teen drama are definitely the ones that I want to uh, try to do fully before going into the other two. So I'm really happy with all my picks and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are also doing this readathon, definitely let me know. I'd love to follow along with what you're reading. Um, you can follow me on Twitter where I'll update all of my books and everything that I'm reading and how the readathon is going. Um, so I really hope you like this and happy reading. Bye guys. <laughs>